Hello Facebook Ads people, I'm Kostadinos and today I'm coming back to you with another CB optimization mistake that I have done and I hope that it's going to teach you something. One question that I get a lot and it makes total sense is if I turn off something while I'm doing CB optimization, can I turn it back on? Well, I have done this mistake in one of my campaigns and while I was video shooting uh, a video about the 20% uh, scaling rule, I have realized it so I said I also explained it there but I'm going to do an extra video about that because you know we're not perfect and we always do mistakes but sometimes we do mistakes that it's not our fault that we have done this mistake because we didn't have proper data. So we're going to go into my PC I'm going to explain the situation more there but this is going to uh, solve uh, and uh, answer to the question uh, if you can turn something back on and when uh, it makes sense to do so. Hi guys, I would like to interrupt this video in order to talk to you about my new mentorship programs and uh, I would love if you go to the website, you're going to find the link in the description or you can find it in the menu of my website and over there you're going to be able to see the different mentorship programs that I have. You can find the one that's going to fit better your needs and I will hope to see you there. So guys, this video is not going to be any big video about CB optimization because as we said, we want to uh, talk about the different cases. So in this case, I have done a mistake and I have closed one ad set while I shouldn't do that. So if we see over here, this campaign actually started on the 15th, it wasn't there, so it started on the 16th, okay? Now, I broke one of my rules, by the way, this, I'm just going to turn it off for the sake of the video. I hope it's not going to ruin it, but this is how it was, okay? So yesterday, which was the first 24 hours, this is spending 100, it's having uh, six assets. Yesterday, which was spending uh, 100, I'm coming here and I'm seeing that we have one checkout here, two purchases on this uh, ad. It's actually taking kind of the same budget as this one, but here, I know I'm telling you not to touch anything before the 24 hours for, for and this is the reason, okay? Because, you know, if you're overconfident, sometimes you're making mistakes, but I'm confident also that if I make a mistake in one campaign, I will make another one and I will fix it and, and so on. For you, it might be important, this campaign might be important and if you lose it, you might not be able to recover it because you are less experienced. Some of you, some of you, you're not. So over here, the first thing that I noticed yesterday, the first 24 hours, and uh, maybe I shouldn't have touched it, is that over here, I'm having four out of cards, four out of cards, one here, not even out to cards, nothing. And uh, I'm just getting my pets here. So I'm saying, okay, what if I help this ad uh, set over here to become a leading ad? So let me cut the other one. This is the way that I thought of it. Also, for some reason, I put six assets over here. That I think that maybe it's too much. Maybe I'm trying to cut something fast so that I can have five, four super fast so that they can uh, spend more. These are the ways that I have thought yesterday. Today, if I see it, when I watched it in the morning, it didn't have these uh, results. Uh, so I kept it uh, turned off. And uh, as you can see here today, this one, even, even uh, while it was closed, it has spent more than this one. And today, just out of the blue, this asset, this is why I'm talking about 48 hours and stuff, because this is something common. We had uh, two add to cards, one in ECH account, two purchases out of the blue. So what am I going to do is I'm going to turn it on. Now, when can you do that? This ad set was turned off for uh, three, four hours. If you are on top of your ads, if you are watching them, not like a maniac, which is going to do mistakes because it's touching them too many times, but... If you are supervising them properly, the fact that this ad set was closed for three, uh, four, five hours or even one day, it's not so bad. If you close it for five, six days and then it has delayed reporting, then you just don't turn it on. You just say that, OK, I was unlucky. OK, it got some uh, some sales later. But here, don't forget that if you see also the maximum results, this one still it's not profitable. It's just having a good day. I'm just going to give it a chance to see if it can become a strong leading ad. Another one could say that, no, I'm not going to do that because I have decided already that this is my uh, leading ad. This is also uh, correct and something that you can do. But while I was video shooting this uh, other video, I realized that this would be a very nice example to explain to you while my video editor is also here today, to explain to you 
when it is okay to just turn on something uh, back. This is one of the cases. It's just closed for 2-3 hours or even 24 hours if you didn't pick it up earlier or the sales didn't come. And um, that's why you need to monitor your ads several uh, times per day. Uh, maybe you have to do a change like that. Again, not because you have to touch all day long your ads. You should not, okay? But over here, it's one of the cases that if you just on top of the ads, it's going to help because these sales came later. Let's say that I woke up at uh, 10 o'clock today. I optimized at 11, 12 o'clock my time. So the sales came two hours later that we are video shooting now and I have seen it and I turned it on. It happens uh, It uh, because when I did uh, close it, because I closed it this morning because I was losing, uh, looking at the results of the last seven days. The morning didn't have the results. It's totally fine. You turn it on again. You just... Um, this is not a mis this is not a mistake. I was just unlucky. Okay, it is a mistake if you if you want to follow a rule of uh, touching the ads after forty eight hours, no matter what. But uh, I'm more experienced. I can be more aggressive and stuff. But this means that if you are more aggressive, you will do more mistakes uh, along the way. I hope that this is going to teach you something more about CB optimization from one of my okay, let's call it mistake. Okay. from one of my mistakes. As I promised, whenever I have something interesting about CP optimization and the different cases, I'm going to share it with you. Don't forget that if you want to learn more about Facebook ads, you can check my group, my website, my mentorship programs, my courses. And until we meet again, guys, be creative and be consistent.